Well, well, well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to you lovely folks joining me here nice and early at Marvel Snap Zone. It's time for another featured location event. This time, brand new location coming to you in the form of Vormir. Vormir, a location, of course, a bit of a tearjerker to many folks, and uh, kind of the subject of a few of the most iconic scenes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Joining us in Marvel Snap for the first time, added to the location pool. For the next 48 hours, this is going to show up for 40% more frequently in games during this feature period than it would do otherwise. So let's take a look at some of the best strategies, best cards, and best decks you can play during this window for Vormir. We're going to look at a deck for Pool 1, deck for Pool 2, and a couple of options for you guys in Pool 3 and up. And of course, if you haven't already, please do consider to subscribing to the channel for more content like this so that we can share it with you more easily again in the future. So with that all said and done, let's head on over into the game and take a look at what Vormir can have to offer. Alrighty, strategy around this one should be fairly simple. The location build arounds are going to be pretty all in. So up front, quick warning here. Leech and Leader... They're going to be really good while this location is around. Greedy combos are going to be held in hand and built towards whether that's Null, Death, or any other combo. Leech is going to remove all that hard work, and Leader is going to copy all of that homework on turn 6. The second point for anyone wanting to play something a little bit different, however, Armor can turn this location off entirely, allowing you to play other styles of decks without needing it for, uh, to have a card like Storm, or Scarlet Witch, or, or Rhino, perhaps. Death and Null on the surface are the big winners. Both benefit from destroy targets and are made stronger by the location's effect. However, it's more likely that Electro is going to be the way to go, considering that you can guarantee your copy of Electro will be destroyed, opening up the possibilities with less of the downside. Even including cards like the Hood or Bucky Barnes into more strategies than normal, just get you a 1 energy 6 power demon or a, uh, or a 6 power card in the form of the Winter Soldier thanks to this location. Keep in mind, of course, folks, these decks are starting to be built with Series 4 and Series 5 cards. Where they're not a feature card and they aren't 100% required to play the deck, we will include a note as to what you can consider swapping in if you're really in the market to play that particular deck. If you're joining us from Pool 1, the sad truth is it's kind of hard to abuse this location too much. Unfortunately, it's almost actively hard to play as you're going to need to sacrifice cards to the location. Armor is your goal to help mitigate this and we can add Nova and Carnage into Zoo to allow us to use the Nova buff if we miss on Vormir. We can also put Captain America in if we feel like we're less likely to fully buff up a Wolfsbane. Gives us a little bit more flexibility when we expect to have less cards to work with. Sadly, nothing too exciting here, but definitely a list tailored for the location. Pool 2, unfortunately... Let's make Series 2 players a little bit sad. I strongly recommend trying this version of the Leech deck built especially for you and this location. We have Nova and Carnage for the board buff. Sabretooth can get destroyed constantly with Vormir and come back to your hand, triggering the Collector. The Moon Girl will double your Devil Dinosaurs and Sabretooth, and then of course Leech will ruin your opponent's day. The limited pool of cards you face in Series 2 should have significant difficulty into this location, and if you're in early Series 3, this deck has leech to ruin your opponent's day so highly recommend this one great little shell put together based around dinosaur tailored towards this location for the series two players to enjoy Things do get a little bit more exciting for the folks that are in Pool 3, however. Uh, first list here, kind of the big bad in the room. We'll get it out of the way nice and early. Leech, Leader, Electro. The Leech Lead deck that you've kind of grown used to on the ladder at this point gets a small upgrade as we can play Electro with no downside, using Voromir to destroy it and move on with our day like nothing happened. The Theory Craft here doesn't lean all the way into the location, but it maintains a lot of pieces that make the current deck a menace on the ladder all around, but adds Odin to enable you to trigger Leech twice and Doctor Doom because it's great with Odin as another way of having flexibility in the games where you do not find Leech or Leader. This deck is good when the location isn't active and has a reason to be slightly better when it is so definitely our front runner as a deck you would play uh, given Vormir's featured location and nature. The next one is uh, significantly more fun and arguably quite good as well. Null and Deadpool coming to party in this version of the deck. Null might have just enough room with this location to get enough power and complete some Arnim Zola combos with magic consistently. See Vormir as an extra copy of Deadpool in this matchup. Maybe an extra Bucky Barnes trigger, Sabretooth, Nova. You can activate all these things, destroy them as much as you can. Uh, magic on 5, 
Null on six, Arnim Zola on seven. You're going to win a lot of games that way with this list if you have the ability. We're very excited to see whether the three destroys on Sabretooth in particular can make this deck function and give Null enough power for 48 hours. If you do not have access to Null, however, there is a version of this deck you can play without it that might very much shine in this uh, location as well. Vormir Death, kind of using the same strategy as... Uh, the Null deck here, maybe even better in theory. Taskmaster is great against opposing leader plays, which you can expect to see quite a lot of. As we try to build a very big Venom, the backup plan, of course, can just be copying death on that final turn of the game. Sabretooth is very much the addition here for the location. He will become zero energy and then can be destroyed again on turn four and potentially turn five so that you can play into Vormir for no downside while your opponent can not. So you should definitely be keeping your eyes on this one. Remember, at the time of writing, all these decks are untested. We haven't jumped into Vormir just yet. These are all very much theorycraft ideas looking to get you going, and we're looking forward to seeing what you all come up with during Vormir's featured location. If you've got any comments about what you're doing, leave them for me in the description box down below, or come and chat with us in the community Discord if you want to share them with thousands of other Marvel Snap players. If you want to come and talk with me about the location, I'm live over here on YouTube tonight at 6.30pm GMT, and I look forward to seeing you for some games of Marvel snap then but until next time i have been howling minds you have been amazing and this has been marble snap zone take care have a good one